Yo, I'm gonna talk about a lens that doesn't get enough credit, it doesn't get talked about enough, and I'm about to do something about it right now. 45 millimeter, 2.8 from Sigma. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, guys, it's tiny. It's super small, compact. Can't even notice it on the lens, on the camera itself. Huh? Look at that, man. I don't know if you can see it because I'm on cinematic mode in the iPhone 15, but look at that, I'm covering my face. Can you see how small that little hole there is? It's not even big at all. Compact, super small. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ooh, it's gone. Yeah. Small. But the images that you can get from it, spectacular. Awesome with video. Auto focus is good, in my opinion. Uh, the photos look good, also. Low light, even. I've done concerts, walking around. This is like my favorite walk around lens right now. Because it's just so small. And uh, people don't even notice it, man. Um, I shoot uh, all sorts of stuff with this, actually. I've uh, took it inside and shot a couple bands. I've shot landscapes, portraits, all sorts of stuff. Great camera, great, I don't know, the camera has nothing to do with it. The lens, on the other hand, is super tiny. I don't know why people don't talk about it that much. I mean, it's cheap. Maybe that's why. Um, it's cheap, but it's not plasticky at all. Feels pretty solid. Metal, you know? Cool, you know what I mean? I don't, yeah, it's great, man. Uh, Sigma actually has more than just um, this lens. They have a 24 millimeter, 3.5 prime. They also have a 65 millimeter one, I think, and an 85. I want to say it's an 85. I could be wrong, but I think it's an 85. The same size as this, actually. And, uh, yeah, they all look good, man. I'm thinking about snatching all of them up. I'm definitely con contemplating getting the 24 millimeter and selling off that 20 to 60 millimeter I have at the moment because after looking at comparing it to like the image quality I get from the 45 millimeter or the 85 millimeter it just it doesn't hold up I think if you're shooting like vlogs or something and you just want to like walk around with it it's cool maybe if you're shooting from the 24 millimeter or the 20 millimeter I should say not 24 uh, if you're shooting from the 20 millimeter on the 20 to 60 it's probably okay you know but once you shoot past 35 millimeter, everything gets soft, it's gross. It's not my favorite lens. There's a lot of people that love that lens though, so I'm not knocking you if you do. Um, but yeah, man, if you don't have this, you you might want to go pick it up. You can find it online used for like 200 bucks, honestly. Uh, it's totally worth it. Comes with a metal, uh, a metal lens hood, so. Uh, if you care about that type of thing, you know, and even with the metal lens hood, look how small it is It's still super tiny even when you put it on the camera itself. Look at it. You compare it to the 20 to 60 Even with the lens hood, it's like, you know, which take the lens hood off Look at that super small, huh? Tiny huh? Barely even notice it on here. That's what you do with this. Yeah, huh? Put this yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely the truth. I suggest that anybody that shoots a Lumix S5 or any Lumix camera full frame should grab this. And it's cheap. Sigma. Yeah, the Mount Alliance, like, right? doing it all. Got the aperture ring on here. Love it or hate it, I don't care for it that much. I don't really use it. I usually just keep it on the automatic. Uh, on aperture or whatever the A stands for uh, and I don't change it ever not ever because I just I find myself actually um, uh, always like accidentally turning it it's kind of annoying to me but some people love it though so if you're one of those guys that love the, the aperture room you'll love this lens check it out promise you you won't be disappointed subscribe